streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. There. Doesn't that look lovely? Jeffrey will be pleased. Oh dear. How, how can I get back without walking all over my nice clean floor? I know. I'll have to walk very carefully around the edge of the room. Yes, lovely and clean. Bungle, ask the telephone for me, please. Oh dear, I have to go and arm it myself. Hello, Rainbow. Oh dear, they've hung up. Now then, what was I... Oh yes, back to the garden. Oh no! Who's been walking all over my clean floor in big muddy boots? I'll follow the footprints. They start here, and go up here, and around there, and... Oh, back outside again. walking all over my clean floor in big muddy boots. Just like yours. I think they were mine, Bungle. You see, I, I had to go and answer the telephone. I, I forgot to take my boots off. I'm sorry. Well, really, Geoffrey. Well, you better go inside again and clean the floor. It's all right, Bungle. Muddy footprints indeed all over my floor. Vicky's mum's buying her a new pair of shoes. OK. Let's try this one on. Might have to tighten that up when she actually stands up. Right. Let's have the left foot. The assistant wants to make sure the shoes are the right size for Vicky's feet. OK. Put the bow on it. Can you see the bow? Pretty. I can't keep both. I think those would be nice for Emily's party. Yeah, OK, we've got them both on. Should we stand up? That's it. Stand up. How do they feel? Comfortable. No cheating now. Stand up. That's it. And that goes on. They're the same size. Okay, this one's but this pair really doesn't great. fit properly. Uh, They're too one. wide. Right. So Vicky's going to try on another pair. Let's pop this one up. See what's this one looks actually better in the narrow. It's slightly narrow on her, so it'll probably fit her better. Mm-hmm. These definitely look right. And this one in. I like I think that's lovely, actually. That's very pretty, isn't it? Mm. These shoes are okay. just the right size, oh, they and they cool. fit they? perfectly.
We're playing a game, jumping around today. Say hopscotch, it's only a game. No one could think of a funnier name. You'll have some fun if you do this. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm worn out, though. <laughs> Jeffrey, have you got different shoes for doing different things? I certainly have, Zippy. Let me show you. Let's see now. Oh, yes, here we are. Let's get them out. I'll show you these. Now, look, these are my football boots. Oh, oh yeah, for, for playing football, yeah. That's right, see? And these are my sandals. Yeah, to wear it in the summertime. Yes, that's quite right, Zippy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, George? <laughs> Your feet, Jeffy, feet are funny, aren't they? <laughs> are they? Yes, they are. You've got wiggly toes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Look, I've got five wiggly toes on that foot, and there are five wiggly toes on that foot, too. And, uh, oh, there's an ankle here so that I can bend the foot. Do you think toes and feet are funny. Do you? I don't. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, can, can you use your feet like hands uh, and pick things up? Well, I don't know. Shall I try? Oh, yeah, go on, Jeffrey. Right, let's see if I can pick up the socks with my feet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you can't. Some people can and some people can't. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, when do you wear these, Jeffrey? Zippy, <laughs> those are not my shoes. Those are ladies' shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Zippy, what are you doing with my shoes? I've been looking for them everywhere. Yeah, I found them down here. I thought they were Jeffrey's. <laughs> Thank you, Zippy. Or should I say Prince Charming? Che oh. Oh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the other one, <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> oh, I, I love the story of Cinderella. <laughs> well, perhaps Jane will tell it to you, Zippy. 
Would you, Jane? Yes, of course I will. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Geoffrey, Geoffrey, you can be Prince Charming, Geoffrey. Oh, lovely. And, and Jane is Cinderella. Yeah. All right. Once upon a time, there was a poor girl called Cinderella. And she lived with her father and two horrible, ugly sisters called... Uh, Zippelina and Georgette. <laughs> they were very unkind to Cinderella and were always asking her to do things. Uh, uh, Cinderella, Cinderella, go and do the washing up. Cinderella, Cinderella, come and help me fasten my dress. <laughs> One day, there was a knock on the door. And the postman gave Zippolina an invitation to a ball. That's a sort of party. Oh, sister dear, how exciting! We've been invited to a ball by Prince Charming. Who yippee! <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell Cinderella. She's got nothing pretty to wear anyway. No, so she can stay here with home and tidy up. So poor Cinderella stayed at home while Zippolina and Georgette went to the ball. Cinderella was so unhappy, she started to cry when suddenly a fairy godmother appeared and changed Cinderella's old dress into a beautiful new one and turned her shoes into a pair of shiny glass slippers and sent her to the ball in a golden coach. When Cinderella arrived at the prince's ball, she looked so beautiful that nobody recognized her. Uh, who's that beautiful girl, sister? And why is the prince only dancing with her and not with us? The clock struck twelve, and Cinderella suddenly remembered that the fairy godmother told her to be home when the clock struck twelve. So she ran home, and on the way, she lost one of her glass slippers. The prince was so upset when Cinderella had run away, he had forgotten to ask her name. So he said, Whoever this glass slipper fits, I will marry. A few days later, the prince called at Cinderella's house with the glass slipper. Hello, I'm Prince Charming. And if this glass slipper should fit your foot, Miss Zippolina, then I will marry you. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, It's too small for my foot. <laughs> Miss Georgette? Oh, yes, thank you, Prince. Oh, no, it's too big for my foot, Prince Charming. Oh, dear. Well, what about you, Miss Cinderella? Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, it fits. Cinderella! And so Prince Charming married Cinderella, and they lived happily ever after. Stop! Come here, Benji! Stop him, Geoffrey! Don't let him walk all over the clean floor! What's going on? The next-door neighbour's dog, Benji, got through a hole in the fence and ran indoors because you left the back door open. Oh, I never left yes, the back door open. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, yeah. Look, 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 look at all those doggy footprints, Bungle, all over the floor. Oh! Bungle, there's no need to stamp your feet. Well, I'm very cross. Well, don't just stand there, Geoffrey. Go and catch him. Benji! Benji! I'd better clean the floor again. Benji! 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 Benji, where are you? Have you seen Benji? Oh dear. Well, never mind. We better say goodbye to you now. Take care. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Benji. He's in the house.